what I'd like to do today is talk about uh, what I call a little bit about alternative investments and then um, talk a little bit about financial innovation. And uh, uh, one of the nice things about um, being an academic for so many years and now running my own business uh, after uh, starting in uh, 1999, I have um, uh, my student, uh, Chi Fu Wong, uh, who was my student at Stanford and became a chair professor at, uh, at, at MIT before working at Goldman Sachs and then long-term capital management with me. And then Ayman Hindi, who's his student. So um, I the, have the grandfather, the father, and the academic son in the business, so it's been good. So we have actually our, at our hedge fund, we, ha we try to apply theory all the time, systematization of what we know from our intuition. As our intuition, we then systematize it or try to model it or put it into models, and then once we have the models, we can have more intuition. So uh, it just uh, can. Uh, it's a wonderful to be able to be in a world where you can uh, continue to learn and grow and um, create exciting uh, uh, new ways of thinking about things. In terms of the uh, 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 alternative investments, what, what I think is there are sort of four paths to earn returns from the provision of investment services and hedge funds are involved in all these areas. I think the um, the four areas that I look at are, or think about, are uh, systematic exposures. That's uh, the idea if one holds the stock market or if one holds uh, the bond market, uh, we earn a competitive rate of return on those, um, uh, on those services. So we have exchange-traded funds or, uh, or, um, or index funds or any funds that just are a diversified portfolio that are highly correlated, point, you know, 0.99 or 0.95 correlated with the market, makes a large part of its return uh, through systematic uh, factors. They're just holding the market. And we know that those assets uh, being riskier, we expect to earn a positive rate of return by holding systematic factors. But by expecting to earn a positive rate of return does not mean that that um, return has present value. The present value is zero. Net present value is zero. The investment you make just makes the return commensurate with the risk, which means there's a lot of variation to that return by holding, um, holding uh, the stock market generally, whether it's in this region or diversified globally. 